here are some questions where we have to rewrite our function, our y equals our equation, before we can differentiate it. So the first one, the first example, says y equals the square root of x. So from the laws of indices, you have hopefully done before, the square root is a power of a half. So we can say y equals x to the power of one half. And now we can differentiate. So we can say dy dx. So we're going to times by the power. So a half times one is just a half. And take one away from the power. So a half take away one. One half take away one whole is minus a half. So that's, that's our dy dx. That's our gradient function. For the second one, I've got y equals 1 over 3x squared. So I can say that's the same as, I'm going to write it as 1 third times 1 over x squared. And 1 over x squared is the same as x to the power of negative 2. When we have a negative power, we can flip over our fraction. So we can take the x squared to the top by making it a negative 2. So we can say this is the same as y equals 1 third x to the power of negative 2. x to the power of negative 2 is the same as 1 over x squared. Now we can differentiate. So times by the power. So a third times negative 2 is negative two thirds x and take one off the power, negative two take away one is negative three. And the third one, we've got two times the cube root of x. The cube root of x is the same as a power of one third. So we can say y equals two x to the power of one third. So power of a half is a square root, power of a third is a cube root. Now we can differentiate, so times by the power and take one off the power. So a third times two or two thirds is two thirds. And then we've got the powers one third take away one. One third take away one is negative two thirds. So we've got three for you to try. Pause the video and give these ones a go. So question one can be rewritten as y equals 2x to the power of negative 1. 1 over x is the same as x to the power of negative 1. So now we can differentiate. So we times by the power negative 1 times 2 is negative 2 and take 1 off the power negative 1 take away 1 is negative 2 5 times root x is the same as 5x to the power of a half so dy dx our gradient function we times by the power 5 halves I can just write as 5 over 2, 5 halves. You can write 2.5. It doesn't matter. Both are correct. And we've got x to the power of a half take away 1. A half take away 1 is minus a half. And question 3. 5 over x cubed is the same as 5x to the power of negative 3. So we times by the power, negative 3 times 5, negative 15, and then take 1 off the power, negative 3 take away 1 is negative 4. And here we've got another set of questions 
where we need to rearrange before we can differentiate. So first one, y equals x squared plus 4x minus 8 all over x. We need to divide by the x before we can differentiate. To do that, we're going to divide each term by x. So this is the same as x squared over x plus 4x over x minus 8 over x. So we're differentiating, so we're dividing, sorry, each term by x. So we're going to say y equals x squared over x is, so when we divide indices, we take away the powers. 2 take away 1 is 1, so it's just x. 4x over x, so the x's cancel, it's just 4. And we've got minus 8, 8, 8 over x. And 1 over x is the same as x to the power of negative 1. So we've got minus 8 x to the power of negative 1. So now we can differentiate and we can say dy dx. So x differentiated. So it's the same as 1x. And that's just got a gradient of 1. So if you times by the power, it's 1 at the moment. 1, 1 is 1. And then take 1 off the power, x to the power of 0, it's 1. So we've got 1. The 4 has got no gradient. That's a horizontal line. It's got no gradient. And finally, we've got negative 8x to the power of negative 1. So times by the power, negative 8 times negative 1 is a positive 8. And we take 1 off the power, negative 1 take away 1 is negative 2. The second example, we have brackets that we need to expand before we can differentiate. So we're going to expand these brackets. So x times x is x squared. x times negative 5 is negative 5x. 3x's are 3x. And three negative fives make negative 15. I'm going to collect the like terms before I differentiate. So negative 5 plus 3 is negative 2. So we've got x squared minus 2x's minus 15. Now we can differentiate. So dy dx times by the power and take one off the power. So x squared becomes 2x and then we've got negative 2x that's a straight line with a gradient of negative 2 and negative 15 has got no gradient so we can ignore that okay two for you to try so pause the video and give these a go okay so for question one we need to divide each term by x squared before we can differentiate. So 4x squared over x squared is 4. 5x over x squared is 5x to the power of negative 1. When we divide, we take away the powers. 1 take away 2 is negative 1. And negative 8 over x squared is negative 8x to the power of negative 2. So now we can differentiate. The 4 is a horizontal line, it's got no gradient. 5 times x to the power of negative... 5 times negative 1 is negative 5. And take 1 off the power becomes negative 2. Negative 8 times negative 2 is a positive. 8 2 is a 16. And we take 1 off the power, that's negative 3. And question 2. We need to expand first. So 2x times x is 2x squared. 2x times negative 3 is negative 6x. Negative 1 times x is negative x. And negative 1 times negative 3. A negative times a negative is a positive. So we've got plus 3. And collecting like terms, that will give us 2x squared minus 7x plus 3. Now we can differentiate. 
So dy dx is, so two twos are four, we times by the power, then take one off the power. Two twos are four, and two take away one is one. Negative seven x is a straight line with a gradient of negative seven, and three is a horizontal line with no gradient.